Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to today's maths lesson. This is your teacher Mehba Nasser from Fezaya Inter College Manhas teaching maths to grade 3. And today we are going to do addition of four digit numbers part 3. Why is it part 3? Because we have uh, divided this topic addition in three parts. And this is comprising your whole exercise 2A. And uh, I hope the previous lessons are understood by you clearly. So what is addition? Uh, just uh, repeating it again for you or for new students who have not joined our, uh, our lesson previously. Finding the total or sum of two or more numbers is called addition. All these words, sum, total, add, and all together, they tell us that we are doing addition. Before starting addition of bigger numbers, remember that it's better to write the place values at the top of the digits first, because ones must be written in one's columns, tens in tens columns, hundreds in hundreds columns, and thousands in thousands columns. This is because when we are written the numbers vertically according to their columns, it is easy for us to add them because ones have to be added in ones of the second number. Tens of first number will be added in tens of second number. Hundreds will be added in hundreds and thousands will be added in thousands. Only then we can get the correct answer. Otherwise, our answer will be incorrect. For example, we have two numbers, 2, 3, 1, 4, and 1, 5, 4, 2. If we need to add them, first of all, we will write the place values at the top. And then we'll start writing the numbers, starting from ones of the first number. The first number here is 2, 3, 1, 4. We'll start from ones of this number. We have four at ones place, so it will go in ones column. Then one in tens column, three in hundreds, and two in thousands. And the second number will be written below the first number if when we are writing vertically. In the same way that we start from ones, this two will be go in ones column, four in tens column, five in hundreds, and one in thousands columns. And before starting addition, we need to revise the steps. Step one was at the ones. You always start adding from the ones. Just add both the ones. Four plus two is six. Write that six down here. Then is at the tens, we have one and four in tens column. Add the ones and tens and you'll get five. Write it down here. At the hundreds then, three plus five is eight and you will write it down here and lastly you add the thousands and write the sum down there and in this way you get the sum of two numbers remember you always start adding from ones and ones of one digit are added in ones of second number tens are added in tens hundreds are added in hundreds and thousands are added in thousands If ones, tens, or hundreds add up to a two-digit number, what happens is the digit at tens place of the sum is carried towards left. If it's the sum of ones, then ones give carry to tens. If it is the sum of tens, that is of two-digit number, then it will give carry to hundreds, and hundreds in the same way will carry, give carry to thousands. In our previous lessons, we have studied about converting ones, tens, and hundreds while regroup. Now that we have added two numbers till now, but following the same method, we can add three or more numbers also. How is that possible? For example, we have three numbers in front of us, 5,120, sorry. 5,120, 743, and 13. We need to add them 
the plus sign between the numbers is telling us that we need to add them. What we will do is, first of all, we'll write the place values. Don't forget to put numbers correctly according to the place values. Write the place values first, like this, 5, 1, 2, 0. You can see this 0 has gone to the 1's place, 2 at 10's place, 1 at 100's, and 5 at 1000's. Then when we are writing 7, 4, 3, this 3 is written in 1's place, 4 at 10's place, and 7 in 100's column. If we write 7, 4, 3 in like 7 in 1000's column, 4 in 100's column, and 3 in 10's column, right? So kya hoga? Our answer will come wrong. Don't forget to put the numbers correctly according to the place values. And then last number is 13. 13 means three ones and one tens, right? Once you have written the numbers correctly, starting from ones, steps then are the same. Add the ones first. If it exceeds nine or if it, the sum is two digit number, give a carry to tens, then add tens. Add the carry in tens if there is any carry, then you add the hundred and lastly you add the thousands. Let's just start here. We have zero, three and three in ones columns. Just add three plus three is six and six plus zero is six. So we'll write six in this column. Step two, adding tens, two, four and one in tens column. Two plus four is six and six plus one is seven. So we've written seven in tens column now. Step three, add hundreds. One and seven in hundreds column means add one and seven. That's eight, right? And lastly, thousands, it's only five. 5,876 is the sum of these three numbers that were given to us. Now come addition word problems. Word problem, um, mostly kids find it difficult to solve word problems. Uh, and mostly uh, do solve it, but they are not solving it in a proper method, proper manner. Everything has a proper method and word problems must be solved according to its method. Now what that method is, first of all, identify the keyword from the statement of the question. Read the statement carefully and just picturize that situation in your mind and then do whatever you need to do. In the first slide, I told you some keywords, some words that are repeated that I said that these are the words that tell us that we have to do the addition. There comes a situation when we don't have a sign and these are the word problems actually or the story sums. They are also called the story sums. For example, we have a sum here. 3,065 people live in village A and 5,618 people live in village B. How many people altogether live in the two villages? I have changed the color of the word altogether and I have also increased its size. Why? Because this is the keyword altogether. This word is telling us that we have to do the addition. Now, coming to the process of its solution. We will first do the solution, writing the statements. Statement writing is very important in solving word problems. It's not about only doing the math. Just add 3065 and 5618 and you'll get the answer. No, you definitely will get the answer like that, but before that you have to do the proper steps of word problems. That is, first of all, you do the solution, give the heading of solution and start writing the statements. Now, first statement is 3065 people live in village A. It means people in village A are 3065 and 5618 people live in village B. Means people in village B are 5618. See, I have written the equality symbols just above one another. And the numbers are also written. You have the notebooks that are in small boxes. Just write one digit in one box. Equality signs should also be in the same column, exactly above one another. 
right? Now, you can see that ones are above each other, tens are above each other, hundreds are above each other, and thousands are also above each other. There is a reason why I'm doing this. Abhi aapko pata now, the question says, how many people all together? All together is telling us that we are going to do the addition, right? Means we have to find the total people in the two villages. For that, we'll do the addition, right? Starting from ones. Write the place values at the top if you need to, right? Starting from ones, we have five and eight in ones column. Five plus eight is 13. 13. Three at ones place, one at tens place. So tens place digit will go to, go carry to the tens column. Because it is a two digit number, we cannot write two digits in one column. So three will be written here and one goes carry to tens. Now, add tens, adding the carry in it. Six plus one is seven and seven plus one is eight. Write down eight here. Now add hundreds. Zero plus six is six. And 3 plus 5 is again 8. Till now, we have got an answer, but we need to write the answer statement also. So, write the answer statement as the last line tell us the answer statement because it is also the question how many people all together live in the two villages? Just write the correct answer in the place of how many, and rest of the statement remains the same. 8,683 people live in the two villages all together. Right? So this is the method of doing word problem. Let's have another word problem in front of us and try to solve it. Farmer Ahmed has 1,650 apple trees and 4,380 plum trees in his orchard. How many total trees does he have in his orchard? First of all, Farmer Ahmed has 1650 apple trees. Apple trees are 1650 and 4380 plum trees means plum trees are 4380. The statement as apple trees 1650 and plum trees 4380. The word total tell us that we have to find the total number of trees that is we have to do the addition so total trees means we will do the addition starting from ones obviously zero plus zero is zero five plus eight is 13 again now tens always gives carry to hundred three will written in the tens column and one goes carry over hundreds column now add the hundred carry in it six plus three is nine and nine plus one that is carry it gives us 10 and it is again a two digit number so zero will be written here and one goes carry to thousands hundreds gave carry to thousands now add the thousands adding the carry also four plus one is five and one six we got six thousand and thirty total trees but the solution of world problem doesn't end here we must write the answer statement also and as I have told you, the last sentence of the question statement tell us the answer statement also. How many total trees does he have in his orchard? Instead of how many, write the number of total trees and just remove the question mark. So the answer is six. There are six thousand and thirty trees in his orchard. Yes, six thousand and thirty total trees are there in his orchard, right? So guys, today we did addition without regrouping. Uh, no, sorry, we are too late. We have word problems ke and we did addition of three numbers, right? Uh, page number 43 and 44. Page number 43, question number 8, part A to F is to be done on book. And question number 9, part A to B will be done on book. And uh, you have a weekend also, Saturday, Sundays are off. So word problem number three and four will also be done on your notebook. And I will provide the PDF of these, uh, this full exercise also. Just complete all your previous work and do the word problems according to the PDF. Please follow the instructions. 
in our next lesson we will do subtraction of four digit numbers inshallah thank you so much guys thanks for all your time stay safe stay home allah peace